Sarah. I just wanted to make a short video to show you how I ship my artwork to my customers. Um, the first thing that you will need is foam board. You can get this at any craft store, Walmart, the dollar store. I got this for under a dollar at Walmart and I can usually ship about two pieces, small to medium sized pieces with this. You will need to cut it to size to fit your artwork. You will also need, I got these from the post office. They are free. So that's another great thing, very cost effective. And then of course you will need your artwork that you are sending out to your customer. You will need box cutters, which I've already cut this to size, and you will need some tape. Okay, so the first thing that you will do, it's very simple, very basic, is you will be putting your foam board on top of your artwork. You can also use tracing paper, which I got this at Michael's. Um, if you want to protect your artwork, this one should be fine. It's colored pencil. But what you will do is you take your foam board and you put one on each side of your artwork. You'll put it together to make a sandwich. Then you will just use some masking tape. No, oh, that piece wasn't good. Let's try that again. Then you'll just take some masking tape and you will tape the edges. So you go ahead and you will tape along. I usually do four pieces. Then after that, this envelope is a 11 by 15. My artwork is a 11 by 14. So with the foam board, it fits perfectly inside of the envelope. And there you have it. Put your pretty labels, anything you want to do to make it look more professional. And that is how I go about sending my artwork. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. See you guys next time.